Servus Leute, willkommen zurück zu Tales of Aris. Ich habe... Ups. So. Ich habe trainiert, nur ein bisschen, wie man sieht, weil hier kann man überall so schlecht trainieren. Bin dann wieder in die Feste gegangen, habe dann bemerkt, dass ich eine Truhe noch nicht geöffnet habe. Da waren 1500 Geld drin. Ich habe 8 Minuten aufgenommen, habe mich mir hier überall umgeguckt, weil ich wissen wollte, ob ich irgendwie das Flammenschwert einsetzen kann. Äh, ist aber offensichtlich nicht der Fall. Dann hat aber Media gesponnen und äh, ja. Deswegen, weil eben nichts passiert ist und ich nur hier stand und geredet habe. Wobei so viel habe ich auch nicht geredet, weil ich habe nur mich umgeguckt und gelesen. Habe ich die Aufnahme wieder weggemacht, aber Media neu gestartet und jetzt kämpfen wir gegen diesen Lord und hoffentlich besiege ich ihn. Glaube ich aber irgendwie nicht. So, die Katzen hier kennen wir schon. Nee. Ja, jetzt macht er mich alle. So. Ja, toll. Gib's ihm. Ey. Nein, das wollte ich nicht. Das war kritisch. Nein. Leuchten wir fast tot. Ja. Erneut wegen. Das kann ich separat einstellen. So, dann fangen wir mal an mit den Heilungen. Oh, Rinwell ist auch. Und ich auch. Hm. Na gut, dann heil ich Rinwell. Ah. ah! Ja toll, Lois ist tot. Hm. Ich frage es nur, heilt sie jetzt Law? Ja, ich bin paralysiert, ja, ganz toll. Ich wusste gar nicht, dass der paralysieren kann. Gib's ihm! Ringwell! Ja, der. Oh, ich sollte mich von ihm immer ein bisschen fernhalten. So, eigentlich wollte ich die ganze Zeit die Taste hier drücken. Shion ist total geboostet. Letzten am nötigsten ich eigentlich. Ja, ins Gesicht. So, haut ihn. Haut ihn. Oh nein, jetzt macht er wieder. Okay. Ich werde mal die günstige Stunde nutzen und jemanden heilen. Rinder. Nein! Ja. Oh, ausgewichen! Wie ein junges Rekitz, du Loser! Ich hab doch, ja! Komm! Oh, jetzt muss er einstecken. Ich mach null Schaden. Oh nein. Wir machen alle null Schaden. Okay, ich glaube, das ist die gunste Stunde für Heilung. Ja. Oh nein. Okay. Ich weiß, ich bin ruhig, aber... So, Law. Mit zur Sicherheit. Haut ab! Die halten mir zu viel aus. Ich 
dummes Vieh. Verschwinde. Oh, shit. Ich wollte gerade heilen. Weil irgendjemand ist nicht... Ja, wünschen wir was. Aufstehen, 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 aufstehen. Und paralysiert bin ich auch noch. Ah, gut, das mal Paralyse weg. Oh, Lois, am Ende. Moment. Oh, ausgewichen. Nein, der da hinten ist der Richtige. Oder auch nicht. Winwell ist tot. Nein. Okay, erstmal ich hier. Lois ist auch tot. Oh, jetzt geht's voran. Einer nach dem anderen geht's drauf. Okay, erstmal Law. Ah. ah, shit. Gut, der ist auch weg. Ich muss jetzt erstmal gucken. Okay, alle leben wieder. Nein! Der ist der echte, oder? Gib's ihn! Oh, Bußbrecher, geil! Ich muss mich heilen. Ah. Gib's ihm. So. Das ist so übel. Lo. Ja, jetzt. Ja, paralysiert bin ich auch noch. Scheißdreck. Mein ganzes Zeug geht drauf. Ah! Okay. Winwell und Shion sind zwar relativ fit, aber es muss jetzt sein, wegen mir und Law. Gib's ihm! Ja! Voll ins Gesicht! Boom! Gut gemacht, Law! Nein! Hau ihn! Er muss weg! Er muss definitiv weg! Ja! Ja, ge geben! Ja, oh, spammen! Er muss weg! Oh, das ist knapp! Weg, schnell, bevor er irgendwas macht! Ja! Refuse to believe this. It cannot end this way. If I die, my subjects.
that's over. But Zephyr's still gone. Focus on the positive. We defeated a lord, and under difficult circumstances, too. <laughs> Focus on the positive? Zephyr's dead, Shion. And the Renans ruled this world unimpeded for three centuries. Did you think there wouldn't be any sacrifices? So Zephyr's life just doesn't matter? He's dead, Shion. Our friend is dead. We're fighting this damn war to keep people alive. Yeah, you're right. This is a war. Did you just realize that? Zephyr wasn't the first to die, and he sure won't be the last. If you can't handle that, Alfin, then you should run back to Calaglia. And when you do, just remember to leave the Blazing Sword here, in safer hands. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Damn it. She just thinks she can say whatever she likes. Bickering among ourselves at a time like this isn't going to get us anywhere. Especially at a time like this. <sighs> All right. Fine. So much for Ganabelt. Good riddance. You said it. So, was the Lord of Calaglia like Ganabelt too? No. Falstaff was huge, a real tough guy act. Now that I think of it, his crest was different too. His was a flaming cross. Ah. I see. Uh, anyway, what do you guys plan on doing from here? We keep moving. Three Renan Lords remain, and we won't rest until their thrones are empty as well. That worked for you, Xion? That was my endgame from the beginning. Uh, hey, so if it's not too much trouble, could I maybe come along? Isn't Cislodia your home? I mean, yes, but... It's just, now that everyone knows what I've been hiding, well, it might be best to get as far away as I can until it all quiets down. Is that okay? I promise I'll pull my own weight. Sure. You're welcome to join us. Taking off, huh? Yeah. Thanks for everything. It's too bad. I wish there was more we could do to pay you back for all you've done. I'll see to it personally that Zephyr's remains reach Calaglia safely. What's next for Cislodia? I honestly couldn't tell you. The enemy infiltrated its way right to our core as a people. Only time will tell if we can rise above our suspicions and come together. Zephyr once told me that so long as you don't give up, there's no wall that can't be torn down. Sounds about right. And thanks to you, the greatest obstacle that was in our way is now gone. I suppose the rest of it will be up to us. I look forward to seeing how far you'll go. Oh, I almost forgot. Before you head off, there's something I wanted to give you. Hmm? up real nice it was a parting gift it's like speaking to one of the old dandan heroes from legend 
Where to next, then? Elda Menencia. You're really going to travel in that thing? Why not? It's not as heavy as it looks. Actually, there's someone I was hoping we could invite along with us. You can't be serious. Got some place to be? Not really. I mean, I can't stay here, of course. Then again, there's no one waiting for me back in Calaglia either. Plenty of ditches along the road. Maybe I'll find one to die in. How about a fresh start? After the kinds of things I've done, I don't know where I'd even begin. Your father said that as long as you face the past, there's hope. I think it might be a little late for that. He also said he'd fought and lost all his life, but didn't regret it in the slightest. <laughs> it's only over when you give up. Keep fighting and even that wall inside you can be brought down. Don't you want to see what your dad saw on the other side of that wall? What he was fighting for? Do you... Do you think I'm even worthy to? That's for you to decide. I... I'm sick of losing everything I love. Of running from life. Maybe all that's left is to just turn around and face it. Count me in. Finally. I thought you'd never finish. We've still got a ways to go. Meisterkern des Lichts. Der Meisterkern des Lichts, Fluch, Fluchtlicht -Sklava, Sklavenarbeit, hat ihn mit Lichtastralenergie durchdrängt. This armor was a gift from Bregan. What if it really did belong to a Danon hero once upon a time? Hey, did you make off with that armor while none of us were looking? Because I've got to admit, you look pretty snazzy in it. He didn't steal it, if that's what you mean. Bregan gave it to him as a parting gift. Ah, right. Although it makes sense, I guess. It's like a symbol of rebellion in its own way. Which is why it should have been your father wearing this, not me. I don't know. I don't think he could have pulled it off like you, man. I wonder what the last wearer of this armor was dreaming of for Cislodia when they decided to rise up and fight. Who knows? Anyone who could have answered that is long gone. Truth is always lost with the departed. Are you saying there's no point in trying to understand why they gave up their lives? No. Only that it's impossible to know for sure. Look, I can tell that you're concerned about Cislodia's future. But we do have other things to take care of. You can't shoulder all of the world's problems, Alfin. If you try to, you'll only find yourself buried by the weight of it all. Yeah, I know. My path is forward, and I'll do what I can. Here and now. You were born in Calaglia, right, Law? Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's scalding hot all the time there, so I was shocked when I learned Cislodia is the exact opposite. Not to mention dark. Not anymore, thankfully. 
How did you even manage to cross the border between realms? All five realms are supposed to be closed off due to the nature of the crown contest. What? Is this an interrogation now? I didn't mean it like that. I just figured if a Danon like you was able to slip between realms, it could come in handy later. Ah, good thinking. I don't think I really did anything all that creative, though. What? Don't tell me you climbed over the walls of fire. Oh, hell no. Not even Zoogles could do something that crazy. Nah, I stowed away. In what? Oh, you'll like this. The realms don't maintain much contact with each other, but there are resources each is looking to trade for. So, there are cargo convoys from each of the lords that go around a few times a year to lend those resources to each other. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. That was the only time the gates of Calaglia would ever open up. Right. Obviously, they don't let Danons ride with them, so I snuck on board inside some cargo instead. So you were carried out of the realm? You did great not getting caught. Way to go. Eh, let's just say I've always had a knack for sneaking around since I was little. I was also really desperate to get the hell out of Calaglia at the time. I had more guts than brains that day. If I had a guess, I probably wasn't the first one to ever do something like that. Danon or Renan. I wonder if that's how Menic, I mean, Ganabelt, was able to hear about what happened in Calaglia so quickly. So in other words, we should always assume that the enemy is informed about whatever it is that we may be up to, wherever we go. Ah, she besitzt irgendwie nicht sehr viel Empathie. Jedenfalls, Alfreds Rüstung sieht zwar geil aus, aber seine anderen Klamotten gefallen mir besser. Diese Rüstung kenne ich ja schon vom Tales of Aris Cover. Und Lors Schulterpanzer, holy shit, geiler Wolf, aber oh, geil. Noch ein besseres Bild. Äh, ja. Sündenschlechter Rüstung. Ich finde es schade, dass äh, sich hier nichts, nichts mehr verändert. Vom Aussehen her. Das war bei den anderen Tales of Spielen anders. Beamtenuniform, ja klar. Beste mit silbernem Wolf. Hier, guckt wie geil. Die Hose sieht so ein bisschen naja aus. Vor allem hier mit offenen Nieren. Der holt sich sowas von der Erkältung, der Junge. Aber nicht schlecht. So, dann werde ich sagen... Ja, achso, no, äh, eins noch. Ich glaube, das Level Up für jeden... Ähm, falsche Taste. Für jeden hier. Wäre gar nicht von nötig gewesen. Ich hätte gerne bald wahrscheinlich auch ohne Level besiegt. Aber naja, was soll es ist schon passiert. Und pass auf, dass du das Buch nicht zuklappst, sonst ist Hutut. Äh, Hutut. <lacht> sonst ist Hudel platt wie eine Flunder. Gut, dann würde ich sagen, das war Tales of Ares. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen und wir sehen uns das nächste Mal wieder. Für euch.